Um, we really harp on getting the ball. So we try to get the interception, but if not, break it up. Should be leading in the, the country in interceptions too, but we're working on that. So. Feel like you have more interceptions coming soon. Yeah, I think we do as a team. Um, linebackers had some. We got some. We can get some tip balls out. So a lot more to go. Jahan kept saying after the game he should have scored. He's gonna score one this year. Do you think he can? As long as I'm out there blocking for him, the rest of the guys are too. He, he should be able to score. Really talented guy. Some speed for a linebacker, so he'll be able to. Ken, I'm sure you've been asked this already, but you know the play on the safety. I know Coach Warman kind of emphasizes, you know, when the offense gives up a takeaway or giveaway, he wants your unit to kind of go get it back. You kind of accomplished that in a way with with putting some points on the board for your defense. How juiced up were you guys, and how well have you, did you guys execute kind of those blitz packages that, that he was throwing? Um, I think we executed really well. Um, there's always room for improvement to, to get better, but I think we did a pretty good job, but always working on stacking it and, and improving as well. And obviously with the takeaways, I know Damani got one of them. Um, you know, how's he just kind of been a, a leader, kind of helping push this defense along? And obviously he's, he's been kind of described as maybe more of a quiet guy, but mm -hmm. how does he kind of help your unit a little bit? Um, if once you get to really know him, yeah. he's not as quiet as you think, <laughs> you know. Um, but he's been he's been doing a great job in that corner room, leading those young guys. He's got a lot of young guys in there, so you can see the elevation of the level of play that they're getting to. So it's a testament to him and Coach Mo and everybody else as well. I know he's got that good relationship with Zabian, obviously going back to high school. You know, what what was their interaction like after the game? You know, both making big plays against one of the best teams in the country. How was it like to kind of see that and see the relationship? It was amazing for one and two, both coming from from Cali, coming here, doing it together. I know that's that's big for them back in their, uh, their state as well, you know, their families, and, and really for the team. We're just really going to see those guys make some big plays and get the opportunity, you know, put this, put on display what, what they can do. Just for yourself, I mean, you know, how would you kind of grade your performance overall uh, on Saturday night? I know Coach Ronald brought up the, the missed tackle. I'm sure that's something you, you know, pride yourself on not making any of those errors again, but just how would you grade your, your performance stuff? Um, didn't play to the standard I wanted to, but yeah. it came out the win, so that's, that's all I can ask for. be happy about that. That's all I can ask for. <laughs> You were to refine him on this one defense for somebody who's never seen it. Frenzy of Piranhas. 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 Rel Relentless Pursuit. Is Frenzy of Piranhas, is that something that's in the room? Is that, is that, or is that something? That's, that's, some, that's something I kind of just put it with. Um, Relentless, once we feel like we got, we got them where we want them, yeah. just stay on them. Is that, is that different than a defensive approach that you've had, or is that always kind of the mentality you've had? It's always been a, the uh, kind of mentality that we've had, just attack at any time. I mean, even at, at you know previous stops. Like, I mean, was anything about this defense like new for you, or? or? Um, division coverage, but that's about it. Yeah, yeah that, that's that's really it. Do you, do you feel like it, it's it's more of a defense that kind of prepares you for the next level, or or like, like how how does it help you as a player? I guess. Um, I think it helps me. I've had both the I had both of the different worlds, division yeah. coverage and the other style as well. So I think think just being those two different programs, getting really good coaching from both sides, yeah. I think it's going to help my football knowledge for sure. sure. Now, like I said, it gives you kind of some more freedom to make some decisions in that division coverage. Did you kind of agree with that? And how does I guess that kind of help to an extent? Yeah, it definitely allows our um, talented playmakers to yeah. make a lot of plays, um, being able to see the vision of the quarterback, the releases of the routes, and the pre-snap picture. So sure. it gives you some some different pros for sure. And then I I know some teams have, you know, turnover chains and stuff like that. I haven't seen anything. Do you guys have a specific celebration where you get takeaways? Yeah, we got big? the belt. We got the oh, yeah, okay. Belt. Yeah, we Sorry. take a picture with the turnover belt. Damani ended up having it. Um, I think Zebo was supposed to get one as well. He didn't get his picture, but we'll, we'll figure <laughs> it out. We'll get right. him one. Wait, last, last two for you. Yeah. No, nah, you just you just wear it after for a picture after the turnover, yeah. and then that's about it. It's communal. Where do they keep the turnover? I think Coach UJ might have it, or somebody on the sideline has it for us. Yeah. You all just instantly know where to go for the pick because it seems like these. Oh, uh, you just little... you get it, get to the sideline. Somebody gonna run over to you with the belt, and then you go from there, take your picture, on to the next play. All good. Thanks. 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 We saw the. We saw the rat traps around the facility. Did you did you catch that? And what, you know, what, what was your thoughts of that? I thought it was real, keeping it on our mind that no game is is bigger than another. It's always one and zero. So we got to look forward to the this game like it's any other game that we play. For sure. How much do you lean on? You know, you guys were number one at, at Michigan. You you had that kind of, I guess you, you're used to that. What, how much do you lean on that in, in this situation? Um, number one for us, it doesn't really matter. Um, as long as we go one and zero, the Rangers will take care of themselves. So we don't. Really, really worry about them just going one another every week.
It wasn't your first home game, but your first big SEC game. But I mean, just what was that like? Uh, it was it was an amazing atmosphere. Really one of the craziest ones I've ever been a part of. Seeing that type of um, showing for for this big of a game, you know, it, it was amazing. Um, how have you seen a, guy, a young guy like Zayvon Brown prepare himself at practice and just be able to uh, step up big in that moment? How have you just seen him just come in and just, you know, be able to do what he did in that moment and close out the game for the uh, defense? Uh, as a young guy, he carries himself like a pro, so you can always commend that for a young guy. Um, he had some plays during the game that he, he might have wanted to, to give back, but, you know, at the end all be all, biggest point of the game, he stepped up and made the play like we all believe he can. What was your vantage point of when Coach DeBoer got a little bit animated at the refs? Just what, what, what did you see from that? Uh, love to see it. You know, our coach is passionate and he wants to win as, as much as we do. So we love to see that out of our coach. What's the most heated you've seen him? Is, is it then or is he, does he get some times in practice? I mean, like, what's, what's it like? He got heated. He got a little fired up in practice sometimes, but that was the most I've seen him for sure, jumping around and <laughs> almost throwing and stuff. That was fun to see, but it, it was good. Have you heard him utter a cuss word yet? Um, not any big cuss words. I mean, you know, one might have slipped out, but you know, I don't want to sell coach out. But <laughs> um, you guys are facing a dual threat quarterback. Just from your perspective, in your position, what are the challenges of trying to cover and defend a guy like that? Um, a guy like him, he, he creates a lot of different problems. Um, just want to try to bottle him up. He's a really, really good player. Um, he has a lot of experience. Um, their team is really good as well. They're one score away from winning the last, those two games that they lost, they could be 4-0 right now. So I think they're a really good team. Are there any extra measures that you kind of implement to, to make sure you don't have a letdown game? Do you, do you do anything differently this week to kind of keep yourself even more in check? Um, I wouldn't say it's keeping ourselves more in check as if we were to be lacking. I feel like we're even killed all the time. We're ready to go 1-0. It's never you know, too high or too low. We're, we're staying our pace throughout the whole season. So a lot of that flow down from Coach DeBoer and kind of his even keelness. Yeah, for sure. It definitely triggers to the team. Um, we're proud of what he puts out for sure. So we're definitely taking in that one and all mindset and staying even killed like he is. So I think it's helping our team a lot. Back to the rap traps. Uh, where did you see the first one? Did you actually step on one? Or... <laughs> no, I didn't actually uh, step on one. I think the first one I saw was first going to locker room. I saw a big rat trap, a little one. The elevator had two small mouse traps. So. And once you see it, it's like, okay, that's a little something in your brain that, you know, every time you see one, you know, it's not it's not one of those games. Did you have to ask what, I mean, because they did it last year too, but you've been a new guy, like, did you have to, did you talk to someone, like, what, what is that, or did, you, did the message get to you right away? Uh, it got to me right away. Once once you see it, you know, okay, it's not an infestation <laughs> here, it's, some, it's something else. I got it pretty quick. Yes, sir. Uh, it's, it's always a great feeling to have a really talented guy like him on the field. Um, you know, you, you feel him when he's not out there being a leader, you know, vocal about in the back end. But it's always great to have him back there, my guy, one three, you know.